this is a, a power supply compatible with, with ADX uh, computers. What I mean, it has the small 4 pin we remember on every power supply for pending force, and it has an another 4 pin over here adapter which connects with the big one, with the 20 pin one. Okay, so if you have a power supply that does not has this pin you can make another one by yourself you see this media center case it has a smaller power supply on size it's smaller than this one as you see if I go that way you see it doesn't fit I have that problem and I cannot adjust it inside I took another four pin exactly the same as you see you take from an older, a broken one, or you just buy an adapter from eBay or somewhere else to use it. If you put it that way, as I, I show you right here, that way, it fits. Okay, not perfectly, but it goes in. On every other way, it does not. So, what you have to do? You forget the colors. The yellow ones is for the 12 volt. The black ones is the ground. Forget about it. We don't go that way. If you have a voltmeter, you can see and, and check every pinhole over here of the four pin, and you will see that, as as you see over here, the the right one on top, okay, is the five volt, okay. It's 5 volt. You have to put a 5 volt cable and connect it. You take somewhere from here. For example, from for my option, I will take that red one. It's 5 volt. I check it with a voltmeter. It's exactly 5 volts. Okay. The other one, on the right one, the yellow one. It's uh, you know for good. It's the ground one. Okay, the top, as it's the 5 volt, okay, the one right one on top, the right one. And the left one, this one, okay, this is the left one. Okay, I'll show you, is the ground. Okay, and if you see the ADX motherboard, this one is black, which means the ground. Okay, the red one means the 5 volts. Underneath it has another 2. The yellow one is the 12 volts and the orange one is the 3.3 .3 volts. So exactly I check it with the voltmeter so I am positive for what I'm saying. So underneath on the other two cables okay do not convince you, do not to make you confused. I'll put it up here, like I should have. See, with the black over here. The underneath left, okay, the underneath left is the 3.3 volts, and the underneath right is the 12 volts. This black one is the yellow one on the real pin. So, the next thing you have to do is to clear the cables. You'll use the, your soldering gun and you have to connect them directly to the main board in uh, some empty cables and used. Uh, you don't need them anymore. What I mean, in my option, I will take the 3.3 from here, this orange, and this orange gives 3.3 .3 volts. So I give them to my power supply and the 5 volt over here the same. I put one black from here and I just have uh, to take from the 4 pin here on the start to make a scratch and to solder it uh, the 12 volt. I will plug it on the new ATX uh, motherboard I have and I believe it will work fine and well.
as you can see right now I finished putting the cables here is the 5 volt on the red wire this is the 5 volt one the yellow one goes to is the the ground and goes to the black one over here the 3.3 the 3.3 it's right here okay this yellow one and goes to the orange one okay this one goes to the orange one which is 3.3 this one okay and i have and the 12 volt which is was a black one on the adapter okay and goes to here through here to the big the big ones that you we use for the CD-ROMs and the our either hard drives and um, I just connected right here I saw the voltages and they look fine and hopefully after the modification the install the installation of the main board I will see everything works fine hopefully I haven't finished yet the reason I stopped and taping this video too is the reason that you might have problem with the cables because they might not fit very well over there because they are a little fat the plugs are a little more fat and they don't allow each other this one and the big one the 21 to fit together so what I decided to do is to soften a little the, the positions around here touch that over there and just doing this and this one is molding the, the plastic so it make it more thin and will be able to to be adjusted so on my plug over here as you see it looks like it is burned because I did that thing and make it thin the other way so it will, prob uh, will probably if I do it and uh, to the big 20 hello again I finished melting the plugs as you see on the right side is a lot of melted almost one with the, the final plug over there you see that it still has the plastic on it but it's melted and it's more inside and close to the cable but it works fine and the cable didn't be destroyed you can see that also from here you see the difference and how far it is that way the same thing I did it and over here it is almost exactly the same as thin as the, the plugs so now they will probably fit not quite easy but easy I believe with a little pressure together the time of truth they are plugged together I haven't put any hard drive connected or a CD-ROM drive it's just the main board the cables that should be connected to the main board the case cables and the power supply in just the moment let's see what we will have well it began I don't see any problem the monitor opened and voila yes we finally made it we have the disk boot failure over here insert system disk and press enter but as you see we managed to make the main board work 